even cosmologists like Sabin Hosenfelder, for example, have even gone on to the extent of labeling the multiverse hypothesis as pseudoscience. Now, I find that pretty interesting because, well, the skeptics postulate the multiverse also as an explanation for the fine tuning of the universe, but also for the very existence of the universe. And on the other side, intelligent design posits God. Uh, so this has been also a common charge against intelligent design. Its critics often allege that it's a form of pseudoscience. Now, I know that this whole term pseudoscience will have to uh, you'll have to touch upon issues of the of philosophy of science like the demarcation problem but very quickly i'd like to know how do you uh, how do you see this whole uh, charge it's an attempt it's an attempt to stigmatize an idea without ever engaging the arguments for or against it and that's one of the reasons that the use of terms like pseudoscience i think is unfortunate because it doesn't it, it tends to bias a, 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 dis a discussion or a narrative before there's actual evaluation of the evidential merit for a conclusion or an inference. Um, it also trades on, as you mentioned, the demarcation problem. If you say something is not science, or if it's pseudoscience, or if it's metaphysics rather than science, that presupposes a definition of science, presupposes a, a way of defining science. And that that is actually a hotly contested issue, the issue of how to define science. And it has not been settled. And a big part of my work has been on looking at different types of scientific methods, because typically we want to say science is special because of its methods. Uh, but in fact, there are different methods of scientific reasoning and discourse. And I think the case for intelligent design um, uh, very nicely meets the criteria of a good historical scientific theory. It uses a distinctively historical scientific method of reasoning. It is testable in the same way historical scientific theories are. It's as scientific or unscientific, depending on which definition of science you want to apply, as competing Darwinian or evolutionary ideas. So the attempt to settle a, um, a, um, uh, a scientific theory by reference to definitions of science I think is is the wrong way to go. The, the the way to settle an issue is by looking at the evidence and then addressing the arguments pro and con. Uh, here's my take on all this stuff about pseudoscience and uh, metaphysics versus science. The, the the question isn't how you categorize a um, an argument or an inference or a theory or an idea. The question is whether or not the idea or theory or inference is justified by the evidence and therefore likely to be true. Uh, so I think um, the multiverse is, well, so let's be, I'm happy to call it a metaphysical hypothesis. I'm happy to call the God hypothesis a meta, is a metaphysical hypothesis. But that doesn't mean that we can't reason carefully about those competing hypotheses and decide which one provides a better explanation for, for example, the fine tuning evidence. Uh, both have been posited for reasons that are discernible and, 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 uh, uh, logical as explanations for the fine tuning. One provides a causally adequate explanation, the other doesn't. So I prefer, I think there are reasons to prefer the theistic design hypothesis for the fine tuning over and against the multiverse hypothesis. Um, the multiverse does not have the character of most physical theories. I grant that. So I know why Sabine is saying that. And if she wants to call it pseudoscience or metaphysics or uh, a metaphysical hypothesis masquerading as a scientific, it doesn't matter what, what you call it. How you classify an idea is kind of irrelevant. What we want to know is, do we have warrant for believing it to be true or not? Is it the best explanation, a good explanation, or an inadequate explanation? Um, I think in this case, the better explanation, the best explanation we have is theistic design. The multiverse is a poor explanation. It's inadequate. It's causally inadequate because it begs the ultimate question and never answers it. Um, it's also hugely in violation of Occam's razor. Um, and I go into that in, in, in depth in the book as well. So um, I, I, I appreciate Sabine's skepticism about the multiverse. I'm not myself concerned to classify things as uh, metaphysics, pseudoscience, philosophy, religion, science. I ultimately don't care about that. I think what I care yeah. about is is warrant and um, comparative explanatory power. What's the best explanation, however it be classified?